Hey y'all, what's up, what's up? All right, this message, this word came from a dream I had like a couple of days ago. Um, I wasn't sure why I was having it, but I said, I guess I need to, you know, speak on it because like what I was saying in the dream and like the, the, all the confirmations I had after that, you know, like I had signs and confirmations like, yeah, you know, I should, uh, speak on it, you know? So, um... I have this dream where they got these two girls in a dream and, like, they're friends, you know, and one of them wanted to borrow the other one outfit. And the one that wanted to borrow the other one outfit, she was like, I want to borrow her outfit, but I don't want her man to be looking at me. You know, and I was like, well, if that's really her man, then he not going to do that. And I said, if you really her friend, you ain't going to entertain that. And then I start telling them how I've been on both ends. That's what I said. I said, I've been on both ends. And I was telling them how, like, you know, I had niggas that I was, you know, talking to, you know, dealing with. And they'll try to holler at my homegirls on the call or whatever and stuff. And then my friends had niggas they was dealing with. And the niggas would try to talk to me and stuff, you know. And, you know, well, this, this like, you know, this Louisiana, so they, they don't care down here. <laughs> These niggas down here do not yeah, well, they, I don't, that's just everywhere. Just, you know, that's just how men is. That's just how some men is or whatever, you know. So, uh, yeah, but I was telling them that. And then I started telling, telling them about a time that how, you know, one of my friends, niggas, you know, was trying to talk to them, like, in real life. I was telling them about this time that happened in real life, you know. In, uh, in real life, yeah, you know, this nigga my friend was talking to, dealing with, he tried to holler at me, and I just completely went off on him, you know? And I let him know about himself, like, nigga, I don't know what you think this is. You know, that was my dog. That was my best friend. Like, that wasn't about to happen at all, period. You know, and then after I blew him down, I had let her know, you know, because that's what a real friend going to do. If you're really fucking with somebody, if you really care for somebody, if you're really fool with somebody, fuck with somebody, you ain't going to do that to him regardless period you just ain't gonna have the heart to you ain't gonna want to do that you know and uh you know i guess that's all i really gotta say about the um uh, about the dream you know whether no matter what relationship it is whether whether you know you have a man whether you have a woman and whether you have a friend whoever you're dealing with and whatever type of whatever type of relationship it is if they really if they really you know love you and care about you they're not gonna do that no matter what, you know, uh, even if a friend or a, a partner look good, you know, somebody got to somebody gotta show some type of loyalty, you know what I'm saying? Somebody got to draw the line. Somebody got to put some boundaries up, <laughs> you know, because, like, the girls in the dream, they was pretty, you know, and I'm like, I know people, you know, people got eyes and stuff, you know, people, we, you know, people, people attract the people, beautiful people look good and stuff. But like I said, when you really care about somebody, when you really, you know, bop with somebody, you're not going to do that to them. I don't care how a person look. I don't care how, whatever it is with a person, you ain't going to do that to your man. You ain't going to do that to your woman. You ain't going to do that to your friend. You know, and like I said, somebody got to be loyal. Somebody, somebody, at least, at least one party. One part that gotta be lawyer, and it, it, you know, it gotta be the either the, the 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 man or woman you dealing with or the friend you dealing with. If it can't be two, you know, that's a blessing if both parties is lawyer. But it, but you know, at least let one be lawyer. You know, some saying you know just you just gotta know who you're dealing with and stuff. You gotta make sure. And like I said, the safest way about everything is to check with God. God will show you if a person would do you know, stuff like that to you. God will show you a person heart, a person intentions. God know. And he ain't gonna let he ain't gonna never leave his children in the blind. Like I said, you know, the situation I was in, you know, that real life situation, gosh I, I, I completely knew <laughs> not to be around her. But like I said, just the the you know, the love stuff I the stuff I was going through or whatever. So but like I said, I knew. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like, God will, God will show you who's who's should be in your life, who you should be around or not. He'll let you know. It's like what, like the Bible said, you know, don't worry about nothing. Pray about everything. Ask and you shall receive anything you need an answer to it. He's going to show you, you know. He'll let you know about whatever, you know. So 
that's all I really got to say about that is just, you know, uh, yeah, like, you know, if you really care about somebody, if you really love somebody, if you really fuck with somebody, you ain't going to, you gonna, you know, you're going to draw the line and you ain't going to cross it, you know, so that's it. Um, you know, and like, if you got a, if you got a good thing with somebody, like if you got a good relationship or good friendship, whatever the case you know, make sure you're praying about that. Make sure you and your partner are praying together. Make sure you and your friend y'all praying because, you know, the enemy, all he's trying to do is kill, steal, and destroy. You know, like I said, like we already know, you know, the enemy, he's of division. He don't like unity, especially when God's name is on it. You know, he don't like that. He don't want that. He don't want that to happen. He don't want, he don't want, you know, what God puts together, you know, what God put, the Bible say, what God put together, don't let no man put it asunder. And I know that's for marriage, but I think that's not, I feel like not just for marriage, just with anything, marriage, relationship, marriage, relationships, friendships, you know, business partners, you know, churches, whatever, what God put together, what God built, what God put together, what God joined together, let no man put it asunder, let no woman put it asunder, let no, let no enemy, let no, you know, wicked, evil person put it asunder. You know, because like I said, the enemy is against whatever God doing and whatever God, whatever God got his stamp of approval on the enemy is going to try to, you know, destroy that. He's going to try to tear that up as much as he can. You know, it don't even, it don't matter what it is, you know, you know, he just going to try. So, like I said, just make sure y'all praying over what, what, you know, what, what God Put in your life, whoever God put in your life, you know, because it's, it's, you know, a good person, a, a good person, a, a, a good, a good man, a good woman, a good friend. That's hard to come by, you know, especially in these days. You know, these are the last days. These are the days the, the people. I mean, the uh, Bible was talking about how men gonna be lovers in the, of themselves, and people just gonna be doing all kind of evil, wicked stuff to one another, betraying scoffers and stuff. You know, calling good evil, evil good. You know, these these days, these days is here, and they and it's more to come. So if you got somebody good on your side if you got a good thing with somebody if you got a good thing going make sure you're praying make sure you and your person is praying constantly make sure you y'all praying together make sure you praying for your person and your person praying for you y'all gotta have each other back just like you know um who that was what's that what his name is david friend what's that boy name saul son but he wasn't nothing like saul he was way better than saul what that boy name is <laughs> Boy, I can't think of his name. Man, I can't think of his name. But y'all, y'all know who I'm saying, David and um, you know, David and um, Saul's son. I, I can't think of his name right now. But you know, they really had each other back. They was very loyal to each other. They really love each other, and you know, they loved each other so much that they, the the Bible say, you know, they they um. Uh, their soul was knit together. They had a soul tie, but it was a godless soul tie, you know, because they meant well for each other. And, you know, they, they, they helped each other and stuff, you know. So, uh, like I said, when you got something good like that, you know, keep that and make sure you're just protecting it. Cause the enemy, he don't, he don't, he don't want that. He don't, he trying to, whatever he could, like I said, whatever he could kill, steal, destroy, he going to try, you know. So, uh, you know, that's all I really got to say about that, you know. Just just make sure you y'all know who y'all got in your life. Make sure y'all know who y'all dealing with. And make sure y'all, you know, protecting it. And make sure y'all keep that close to y'all, you know. And uh, don't take it for granted and stuff, you know. Cause like I said, it's hard to come by, especially in these days. That's that's a that's that's rare to find somebody good, you know, with a good heart and stuff, real and you know, pure hearted and stuff. That's that's rare. So you gotta, you know, you gotta really uh value that. And these dark times and these dark ages, and it's just gonna get even worse. You gotta really value that and appreciate that. If you got a good man, if you got a good Wife, if you got a good friend or a good whatever, whoever in your life, and like I said, God, especially if God's stamp of approval is on that, you should appreciate that. 
you know, so uh, that's all I got to say, you know, about that. I don't know who needed to hear that, but, you know, I just was relaying the message. All right? All right.